a rock straight up into the air with a speed of 20 meters per second. Well, how high does it go? Here's my drawing. I've got a little guy there throwing the rock up into the air. There's its highest point. I know the speed on the way up is going to be upward, so it's going to be a positive velocity. And the acceleration on anything that's in midair is going to be downward, negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's write that down first. Negative 9.8 meters per second squared. doesn't matter that it's going upward, the acceleration is still downward. It's getting slower. The initial speed was given in the problem. It said that you throw it upward 20 meters per second. Next part, it didn't give you any more numbers, but it's asked the question, how high does it go? Well, that's a distance or displacement. So there's another number in here that we're missing. We need at least three numbers to solve. That other number is final speed, final velocity. That's going to be zero meters per second. If you throw something up in the air at the highest point, it stops just for an instant before coming back down. So we're looking for an equation that does not have time in it. That's going to be our Vf squared equals V naught squared plus 2A d equation. We're trying to solve for the d, so we're going to rearrange our equation by subtracting the V naught to the left side leaving 2AD over on the right. We're trying to solve for the D, so we're going to divide the 2A out. Divide it over to the left, and on the left I'm going to have VF squared minus V naught squared all over 2A will give us our displacement. Plugging in the numbers, VF is zero, so I'm not going to write it, but i got to keep that negative sign. So minus 20 meters per second squared divided by 2 times negative 9.8 meters per second squared equals D. Plug that into your calculator and you should get an answer of 20.4 meters for the displacement of the rock.